Hi guys, Sadan here and welcome back to another video. This drawing is pretty important to me since this is a redraw of an old piece I made more or less one year ago and my intention is to redraw it again in the next years so every year I will have a clear proof of how much I've improved through time. For those who don't know the character in drawing this is Hakko from the game League of Legends. I know that my YouTube channel is full of characters from that game but in this period it's it's the only game I play and I really like its character designs, so it's normal to me being inspired by it. By the way, there are different reasons why I chose to redraw exactly this drawing. First of all, this is my favorite character from League, I like everything about him. His design, his role, his concept, and the most important thing is connection with time. And this is the other reason why I chose him. I like thinking that the way to see my improvement through time is with a character Character that is time related, so he's perfect for this. While I was drawing him, I had once more too many differences between the references, so I took the most of the details from the versions I preferred, the comic version, also because I could have seen the character from different angles and I wanted to respect the details as much as I could. At some point, I didn't really know where I wanted the light to come from in this drawing, so I made some tries to see which light direction would have made it more interesting. Interesting. I cut out the part of the time lapse where I did these tries because I spent a lot of time to then choose the first light -like direction I thought from the start. As I said, this is a redraw, so there is an old version of this drawing, and you will find the link to that version in the description. As you will see, I had some problems with proportions in past, since the characters I used to draw were way too skinny and their heads were a bit long to match the proportions of the body. That was one of the the first drawings I made in digital so the file size is not the best because at that time I didn't even care about the dimensions of the drawing while now my drawings are all around 4000 pixels in height or width so they're always high quality and they can be used for prints or wallpapers. At the same time, the composition in my drawings got better, mostly because now I sketch a drawing by hand and I'm faster and I can make different sketches before choosing the one that I want to use. I would like to make these sketches directly in digital, but I'm not confident enough to do it since my coordination and my muscular memory work better on the paper. In fact, the only things I draw directly in digital are some details, mostly geometrical ones. My way of working also changed because I used to make a lot of layers for each drawing, making each file really heavy and if you don't have a really good PC like in my case, this can be a huge problem because it will slow a lot your drawing process, since every single time you zoom or move the canvas, your PC will have to reload all the layers in position. The problem is even worse if we have some effects in some of the layers. I quite never merge the effects on the layers because I always want to be able to edit them even at the last minute. Anyway, I still have a way to avoid my PC stresses out with effects and it consists in hiding them until the rest of the drawing is finished. So I don't need to zoom or move the canvas anymore and my PC doesn't have to move the effects all around the screen. This is what I learned in one year of digital drawing. Quite all the improvements I mentioned came through experience and I'm pretty sure that the next year I will have more to tell you about digital drawing. That's everything I had to say for this video, I hope you liked it, if you did leave a like and subscribe, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one, have a good day.